So here it says finding zeros and their multiplicities given a polynomial function written in factored form. So again, I would do the same thing, but I'm only going to take what's inside the, the, the exponent. So I'm only going to take this and I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this, and the cube only applies to this because it's not, if it were 3 and the x all in parentheses, then the cube would apply to the 3 as well. But it doesn't, it just applies to the x because there are no parentheses around the 3 and the x. So if I take um, this factor, the variable part of the factor, equal to 0, I will get x equal to 0. But notice the exponent is 3. So the multiplicity for this guy is 3. If I take this factor and set it equal to 0, I'll have to add 7 over. So I'll get x equal to positive 7. And then notice that its multiplicity is 2. Here, if I set this factor equal to 0 and I 12, I'll get x equal to 12. And the multiplicity there is an invisible 1. And the last one, if I set that one equal to 0, I will get negative 11. So the multiplicity is 3 here because of the exponent. So the exponent is the multiplicity. The uh, value that you get when you set each one of these factors equal to 0 is the 0, okay, the x-intercept. So which zeros or which x-intercepts have multiplicity of 1? It's only this guy, 12. Which zeros have a multiplicity of 2? It's going to be this factor, which the 0 is only 7. And then which zeros have a multiplicity of 3? Well, I have 2 of them. And the x values are 0 and negative 11. Okay? So when they're asking you for the zeros, they're asking you for those x-intercepts. They want the x values. They don't want to know the multiplicity. That's already explained here, okay? So you have to give them the x values that have this multiplicity, the x value that has this multiplicity, and then the x value that has this multiplicity. And sometimes there's more than one, which is why you'll always see the s in parentheses.